In this tutorial, we'll take a look at one of the productivity applications that comes with Ubuntu Linux, the Evolution Email Client. The other main productivity application that comes with Ubuntu Linux is the OpenOffice.org Office Suite, a full-fledged Office Suite very similar to Microsoft Office. Now, the Evolution Email Client can be found in three places. In the Applications menu under Internet, there is a link or an icon for Evolution Mail. In the Office submenu, there is also a, an icon for the Evolution email client. And then additionally, there is an icon for the Evolution email client in the menu bar itself, right next to the Firefox icon. Clicking on any of these icons for the first time will start the Evolution email client. Now, when Evolution is run for the very first time, the Evolution Setup Assistant will run uh, to assist users with setting up the initial email account. Now, some kind of email address does need to be entered in order to continue uh, with the setup process and to continue into Evolution itself. Under server type for receiving mail, there's several options. Hula, IMAP, Microsoft Exchange, Novell GroupWise, POP, Usenet News, and various local Linux and Unix local delivery directory formats. For purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to select none, but any of these options is where one would go to select and insert the different settings. For example, Microsoft Exchange. Evolution has very good Exchange support for connecting to Microsoft Exchange mail servers. The next uh, page allows one to select the settings for the sending of email, whether one uses SMTP in which one will need to insert the server and perhaps any con authentication or configuration options, or send mail, which is a local agent to, to send mail on the Linux system itself. Also, one can select the, uh, the default time zone by clicking on a city or making a selection in the drop-down box. And once those options are done, clicking Apply will start the Evolution Email Client. Now, the Evolution Email Client looks very much like Microsoft Office. On the left-hand side, there are two areas. There is one area that has a list of folders or, or places, if you will, in the menu tree, such as Inbox, Drafts, Junk Mail, Sent Mail, Outbox, and the like. There are also buttons down here for the different components in Evolution. The mail component, the, the primary, the email component that is, the contacts or address list, the calendars, memos, and tasks. We'll come back to those in just one moment. In the right-hand side, this screen changes depending on what option or what uh, component of the Evolution email client one's using. Currently for mail, it has two, two panels. The top half would contain all the individual email messages themselves with listed by the whoever it's from with the subject and the date. And in the bottom half is sort of the preview screen or the preview pane, lets you see the body of each particular email as it's selected in the area above. Of course, uh, Evolution has uh, various menu entries, file, edit, view, folder, message, uh, a search, a way to search through the files, and of course a help menu. And then there are icons depending on which component of the email, of the Evolution email client one's using. Send and receive, reply, forward. If one has highlighted a message, one can hit reply or forward or print, uh, selected as junk mail or unselected as not junk mail. There's also an arrow key to show that there's some additional buttons hidden, uh, for example, cancel. Now, the different components of the Evolution email client show how, how very similar to Outlook this is. Contacts is a way to maintain a contact list. And as you can see just now, both the menu and the icons changed depending on the section of Evolution which one is in. To take a look at that again, watch the menu and the icons. You'll see under, under Mail, there's File, Edit, View, Folder, Message, Search, and Help with a bunch of icons. And under Contacts, there's File, Edit, View, Action, Search, and Help with just a few icons. So anyway, there's, this is an easy way to double click here to create a new contact, uh, which will be added to uh, the address book and available um, once, once, once one is, uh, is got the email all set up available. It's very easy to send an email by, by simply selecting someone in the contact list.
Calendars is another component of the Evolution Email Client, and again, it's very similar to Microsoft Outlook. It shows you a daily summary. There's different ways to view the calendar, of course, by week or by year or work week or what have you. Uh, one can easily select appointments and, and add people to the appointments if this is a, a group shared calendar, for example. Memos is another section of the Email Client that allows one to create little memos and notes for other users or, or for yourself. And this got resized. I'm going to remove it. There is a last component of the Evolution email client. And that is tasks. And tasks is sort of like the to-do list component of Microsoft Outlook. It's an easy way to create a task, again, almost like a to-do list, an easy way to keep track of projects and deadlines and the like. So Evolution is an excellent email client. Uh, the Microsoft Exchange capability is very good, and it does allow folks to use Linux and yet connect to a Microsoft Exchange email server. It's got an excellent contact list, an excellent there's the, there's the calendar functionality, and Evolution is very good. And it's just overall a very a full-featured, well-rounded email client, and it's one of the two productivity applications available in Ubuntu Linux along with OpenOffice.org Office Suite. That's the end of this tutorial. Thank you very much.